We are Beth and Krishna Swami. Um, we lead the Embrace Ministry in Lavender Hill. Yeah, what really started made us start working in Lavender Hill and doing what we do is Beth started working in the drug and rehab center in Musenberg and then that also prompted us to go and work in, in prison. And we always find a lot of with these guys, they've lost it and wasted so many years of their lives. And we just felt like, why wait until they at that stage in life? Um, I met with at Living Hope. I was on drugs for 12 years. She was one of my counselors. She didn't judge you anything. She, she actually accepted you for who you are. Said to Beth, Beth, can't we meet outside the rehab? We had a Bible study group, we had that, and we had a lot of women groups. And that was part of my support system. I, that is what uh, that helps me through things that I thought I could never go, uh, could never take on, I'll take on now. We focus on the community as a whole. Um, quite for the last couple of seasons, God has really prompted us to focus on kids. We run um, a literacy program, arts and craft, sports, youth, um, and we also have discovery groups where the kids can learn more about the Bible, can get to learn more about God. Um, we also do one-on-ones, we follow offenders or addicts up that we've met from previous things um, and then we also run a women's group to give them a sense of where they can like, build their community and security. My name is Biden, nine years old, play and come to youth and discovery group. I, I get to know the games and then I play with my friends at school. I learned that Jesus right from the dead and he, did, and he does miracles. For me growing up in that community, we've seen, I've seen it um, time and time over again where the father um, has been abused and has gone through a lot of traumatic experiences in life and then the kid are going through the same thing and then it's just going over and over. We feel that God has called us to come into that gap. My name is Aston. I'm 10 years old. I'm great. I'm going to five. We learn new stuff about the stories that learned us. He teach me some lessons. I will tell them, you may join the group because it's amazing to learn us about God. So, yeah, we would love people to come and join us. Our team is pretty small. Um, and so, yeah, it would be fantastic. People with energy, drive, um, just a love for people who are broken. Um, and just to actually also see quality in people as well. Um, there's been a couple of people in my life that have really emphasized that for me. Um, one guy in particular in Brazil and he had the, in Portuguese it was slang for mouth of rubbish and he would sit there in the rubbish dumps and he would talk to the people and he would just engage with them in so much. They were just surrounded by rubbish and lived these filthy lives but when he sat down and spoke with them then that was the one thing he was treasuring. If these people, friends or some people come from overseas, she would walk with them and they would do ministry on the road. We don't talk about God, we just have a nice chat with them and they will open up. Some of them open up a lot. There's a lot of us on this, in this level that needs support, but they don't know where to get it. So that is um, part of what we are doing and part of what Beth is trying to do in this our community. Our ministry is very dynamic and it's, a, it's very, it can change on a daily basis. Um, I think some of the qualities that we'd need would be flexibility, um, being able to adapt quickly on the spot. Um, as we said, there's a lot of gangsterism, a lot of shootings in Lavender Hill, so it needs somebody that can be on the ground and change very quickly.